Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today I am barefaced in a bathrobe coming to you, talking to you straight. So I wanted to start today off on the right foot and I was kind of going through my collections and figuring out what I want to pan for 2020, figuring out my goals for 2020. And so I'm going to probably film two videos today. So you might see this beautiful bare face in two videos. <laughs> this one I'm going to talk about my Pan That Face palette. So it was such a success last year, I wanted to continue it through 2020. Um, and then I'm going to film my goals because I was waiting to pick this out before I get to my goals. So you probably saw in the thumbnail, it looks a little different from last year, but also a little bit the same, <laughs> doesn't it? Okay, so let's dive in. The thing that looks the same is going to be the Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. I totally just knocked myself. <laughs> I'm flying right at the face. This I used in 2019, and that is what it looks like now. My goals are to finish. I want to finish pan. I decided I want to finish pan before, like finish an entire pan before I move on to the next product, just so I can feel the satisfaction of, yes, I have an empty in here. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to finish Milk Chocolate Soleil, that one there, the one with the biggest pan, and Chocolate Soleil. These are the two I would like to get completely gone, empty pans, nothing left in there in 2020. If I am able to do that, then and that's a big if, right? I will then move on either to Endless Summer and Sun Muddy to start panning, but I want to hit, not hit pan, I, I want empty pans. <laughs> I'm like now itching to get some bronzers out of my collection. You know, I did my numbers and my bronzers are high, so I want to get these two gone um, just so I can say I finished bronzers. And it, it's been a while since I can say that, so I want to finish a bronzer and then two bronzers and then move on to something else but as we look at this please note I do have pan here in what is that called beach bunny as well um, but yeah basically my goal is there the next thing I want to do is use up some blush and highlighter duos that I have I realize that if things are in a duo I'm less likely to reach for them and I think that's just because of the way I pan um, but I want to I want to kind of break that this year I want to really focus on a couple different products and I just want to hit pan on both of these um, because there's so much product in them you guys know highlighters are a bit harder for me to pan blushes are like impossible to pan so I don't want to make it too impossible to reach my goals on this so I do want to hit pan on the Becca this is the split pan shimmering skin perfecter I've got the mineral blush and champagne splits the blushes in flower child and the highlighter is in champagne pot this is one of the original ones I came out with if you remember this that's what it looks like. I used Flower Child last year, 2019, and I loved it. So I want to use that again. And then Flower, um, Champagne Pop, it's just a really popular highlight. That's what the two look like. That blush is so pretty. Look at that blush. So pretty. And that highlighter is really nice skin tone for my skin. It's a really nice tone for my skin. So I just want to hit pan on both of these. You can see I have used a little of it already but not not enough really to make a dip or anything um, but I have used this a couple times and I'm looking forward to using this more in 2020 and hit the pan that I need and I thought to make it challenging which is going to make it really really challenging is to also include my MAC Nutcracker Sweet Peach Face Palette. You guys remember this from my advent calendar in 2019? I fell in love with it in that project and I decided I did want to use this. I don't want this to go bad. I really like this product. So the highlighter is here and the blush will go on my pinky. That's what those two look like. And what's nice about choosing these two palettes is that they're actually very, very different types of colors. And you can't see, but the blush is much, much more neutral. Flower Child is this nice pop summery the one in the Nutcracker Suite is very appropriate for this time of year, you know, like it's really for cool weather. And then the blush here is cooler. It's very much more cool. Very much. We're just going to pretend I can speak English, okay? It is much cooler and I'm excited to use this. Again, I just want to hit pan on it because I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, I just want to hit pan on those things and see how far I can get throughout this year. Because I have two blushes and two highlights, I don't expect to use up either one, but I do expect to hit pan 
Um, and it's gonna be a challenge. I know by June I'm gonna be like, why did I do this? <laughs> this was stupid. But we're gonna try. Cross, keep your fingers crossed for me. Wish me luck. This is gonna be my pan that face palette. I'm very excited about the possibility of using up some of these products and hitting pan on some of these products and showing a lot of use on them because right now they show very little. If you were doing Project Pans, please let me know. I am looking for some new people to follow, new inspiration for the new year, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a fantastic 2020. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.